Jesus, ready? ready? There were both smiles and tears from a family that wondered if this day would ever come. Sharon Pryor's little sisters say they and their mother, even five decades later, are still grieving. Life has not been easy for us since then, but Sharon has given us strength for the past 48 years and especially today. The Pryor family back in March of 1975 lived here in Montreal's Point St. Charles. Sharon was 16 years old and headed out on a Saturday evening to meet friends. It should have been a two minute walk. Her body was found four days later in Longueuil, about 10 kilometers away. She'd been beaten and raped. Over the years, there were tips and leads from time to time. All told, there were 122 suspects, but each was a dead end until this month when police visited the family to tell them the murder had been solved. It was a very emotional moment, lots of uh, laugh, of cries. Uh. Now, Longue police held on to the clothes from the crime scene. Back in 75, it was just for blood type, but keeping the clothes is what helped close the case. We're not lucky, we just did our job. <laughs> <laughs> Police in August of 2019 were able to pull new DNA off the clothes. They then submitted that to genealogy websites and got back possible family names. A little digging from there turned up a suspect. American Franklin Romine died in 1982. He was buried in West Virginia. Earlier this month, his body was exhumed and the DNA taken from his bones matched to Sharon's killer. Romine had been in and out of jail for serious crimes, including rape. He was also back and forth to Montreal. He was living in Quebec when Sharon disappeared, but was never a suspect. We love you, Sharon, now. May you truly rest in peace. The family says there is a closure, knowing Romine can't kill again. There's also hope for other cold cases. Longueuil police say they expect the same techniques to help solve another this year. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.